Hey everybody, it is Three Song Thursday. It is January 13th. Our theme is I Was So Much Older Then. And uh, oh, we got a three, three string capo for a Three Song Thursday. That's cool, I think. And uh, we got this, the first song is uh, about Dylan Thomas. And the second song is by Dylan, Bob. And the third song is Mr. Schwinn. So you can see how it all ties in tonight. It's all pretty wonderful. Hey, Jeff, where are you guys watching from? Hey, Donna from Nashville. Nice to see you. Nice to see you all. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for the tip jar. Thank you for telling your friends and all that stuff. This is a, a co-write uh, with the great Paul Zolo. And... Um, uh, I, uh, I, I, it's a song, it's a lyric that he wrote about the Welsh poet uh, Dylan Thomas. And it's called Prince of the Apple Towns and Everything's Plugged In. So here I go. Oh, the songs of saints and martyrs from Swansea to Kremlin Ball. He's been alive one thousand years with eyes of sea and fog. Down the green and golden pathways among horses and cows, a huntsman and a herdsman under the apple bough. In a song of salt and barley, in our temporary crowns, in the sun that he once only prince of the apple towns he was the prince of the apple towns famous among the foxes with songs carved out of soap where the children of the harvest and the spellbound horses lope in the shadows of the mumbles he ran his heedless ways, tipsy from salvation's bottle, unto the fields of praise. In a song of salt and barley, in our temporary crowns, in the sun its young once only prince of the apple towns, he was a prince of the apple towns. New York City in winter windfall light at the old white horse tavern he sang the sun in flight a boy as mad as birds after the birth of simple light in his cups and all alone into that good night Where his heart is still a bird's nest In a three-piece suit of space And the moon is always rising Over coming bird parades Swansea bells keep ringing, ringing Unbound by gravity In his chains forever singing songs of salt and barley in our temporary crowns in the sun that's young one's only prince of the apple towns he was a prince of the apple towns prince of the apple towns he was a prince of the apple towns the apple towns prince of the apple towns he was a prince of the apple towns prince of the apple towns he was a prince of the apple towns prince of the apple towns 
and the crowd goes wild. I wanted to tell you, there's a great video. Alan Wax, our friend Alan Wax, made a, a great video of that song. It's like one of my few, you know, handful of official videos. And uh, it's on the YouTube uh, page. You can go to my YouTube channel and you, you should check it out. It's really, it's really awesome. So, song number two. Right along the theme. I'm going to send this out to my, my, uh, my friend, uh, the late Mark Josephs, who was an amazing songwriter, an amazing mentor to me. I have, I have like souvenirs of him kind of all around. This is his uh, harmonica. I keep it with me. He was a great harmonica player. What else did I have of his? I had something else of his uh, laying around, but he used to always play this song, and uh, that's why he's the one I think of when I, uh, when I play this song. And this also goes out to Kevin Faherty's sister, Pat, because, just because. And uh, this is called My Back Pages. Hey, everybody, look at all those comments. Hi, Sammy and Scott. Nice to see you. Hi, Amy from Ohio. Chrisanne from California. Yay. Jay, is that James Lee Baker? Hey, you and I were on the same uh, show last night. We were doing Ellis's uh, birthday thing, right? That was awesome. That was really awesome. My daughter Carrie is here. She's pushing some buttons out there. And Alk Swala is here, being the good producer that she is. Um, lots of help. Lots of gratitude. And uh, let's try, let's try uh, this one. Let's see, see if I can... Uh, this is another, like Turn, Turn, Turn. It's a song by an amazing songwriter made famous by the birds. Here we go. Crimson flames tied through my ears Rolling high and mighty traps Bounce with fire on flaming roads Using ideas as my maps We'll meet on edges soon, said I Proud beneath heated brow Oh, but I was so much older then I am younger than that now I fracked prejudice, leap forth Clip down all hate, I scream Lies that life is black and white Spoke from my skull, I dream Romantic facts of musketeers Foundation deep somehow Oh, but I was so much older then I'm younger than that now Girls' faces form the forward path Phony jealousy To memorizing politics Of ancient history Flung down by corpse evangelist, foundation deep somehow. Oh, but I was so much older then, I'm younger than that now. A self ordained professor's tongue, too serious to fool. Sprouted out that liberty is just equality in school. Now, Quality, I spoke the word as if a wedding vow. Oh, but I was so much older then. I'm younger than that now. We just had Roger McGuinn here to play a little solo on a verse. I would play a verse, but he's not here. So I'm just going to sing verse number five, the one he left out. One of the few he left out. Here we go. The soldier's stance, I aim my hand. The mongrel dogs who teach Fearing not I'd become my enemy In the instant that I preach My existence led by confusion votes Mutiny from stern and bow Oh, but I was so much older then I'm younger than that now Yes, my guard stood hard when abstract threats too noble to neglect Deceived me into thinking I had something to protect Good and bad I define these words Quite clear, no doubt, somehow Oh, but I was so much older then I'm younger than that now 
Oh, but I was so much older then I'm younger than that now Yay, yay Nice to see you all here Robert from Morgan Fisher is here Yeah, every verse Doing, doing every verse Hey JD and Ann Kim Hunter from California. I know a lot of you guys. Thank you to all the new people for being here. That's exciting. We've got some new people here. Yay. A lot of GPMers. It's true. Great peace march. Um, uh, a note of sadness uh, for losing uh, Frida Weiss uh, today, or maybe late yesterday, but just recently. Hey, Michael Tisran from uh, New Orleans. I'm glad you're here because don't you have like a broken leg or something? There was a there was a Facebook post with a, a horse and buggy, uh, mark, you know, like pushing you over. Hi, Elise Fisher. Dave Carter's sister from uh, Kansas. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to tell you, Michael, that um, Chekhov is number six. You'll see him up there. Number five is missing. Chekhov is number six. Actually, number four is Gogol, my daughter told me. She helped me out with that. Tell me that. Uh, so we got... Pushkin, Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, he's d number three. Google, Gogol, 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 that's funny. That's funny, Gogol has a, a name that is a lot like something else. Hit by a truck in the morning at the Daryl Show tonight. Now that is some kind of commitment. That's some kind of uh, loyalty and uh, <laughs> we appreciate it. Well, you can't do anything else, can you? you all you can do is turn on your computer. <laughs> This is so funny. Oh my goodness. Alright, well I got one last song and it's 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 quite a it's quite a song in, in my life. Um, Robert Morgan Fisher and I made this uh, song up from a story that I heard in uh, a little town called Twist, a magical little town in oh gosh North Central Washington, state of Washington. Um, you know, you guys are all watching from different places. I don't you know if you know, but if, if you see that like only a few people are watching from, just know people are watching from everywhere. Wow. I've got this whole, you saw, if you've seen an elementary where Sherlock Holmes is like looking at all the screens, that's kind of what it is for me here. Not exactly. I'm kind of making that up. <laughs> but I am having fun. But we got one more song. And uh, like I say, uh, I don't know, I just want to... Uh, I want to say something about uh, what this song uh, means to me because uh, it might be, even to this day, with all the great songs that I've written with Paul Zolo and the great stuff that has come since then, this, this might be um, people's favorite song of mine. And it goes, it goes way back and uh, I never get tired of playing it, never get tired of playing it. So um, I tell a quick story. I was on the folk pod. You gotta, you gotta check out this folk pod because I tell some stories I never told before. But one story involves, uh, I'll let you hear about my encounter with Dave Carter there on the folk pod, but I will tell you about, because I won the song contest that Dave was judging, I got to play that night in a big theater. Um, I played with uh, Chris Smither and Pat Donahue and uh, John McEwen and um, I went out, I only got to play one song, because I was just the guy who won the, the song contest, right? And this was, this was early on in my touring uh, days, and when I wasn't really sure about what I had to offer yet, I just, I was singing some songs, I hoped people liked them, you know? And uh, I went out there in this 500 seat theater and lights, and I wasn't really, I wasn't used to that, but I played, I played this song, Mr. Schwinn, and um, I walked back, you know, to the green room, the, the, a big maze. Hi, Bill O'Neill. Um, a big maze, back to the green room, and I got back to the green room, and John McEwen comes up to me, and he says, hey, you'll come out and sing with me. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, man, I have a gig in Idaho tomorrow. I can't do that. I got to take off. Um, and so sorry, right? Um, and then I got my guitar put away, and my my case closed and I got some sandwiches for the road and uh, some guy came running into the back room. And this is early in my career, you know, it was like, it was when I, I, I needed some pumping up. I needed somebody to tell me I had something to offer and uh, I had played Mr. Schwinn. It was one song and the people seemed to like it and, uh, but this guy comes on running into the green room and says, Daryl, 
Daryl, you gotta, you gotta come back. They haven't stopped applauding. And it really was the moment that I thought, oh, I better take this serial, seriously, serially. <laughs> I, better, I better take this seriously because some people listening are taking it seriously. And uh, I never discount the people that are listening and the people that uh, love a song or a message. And the people that, that love this song are, in, in my world, are, are fairly legion, legion. So thank you, Robert Morgan Fisher. And, um, and I will play this uh, one last song. And I will thank you for being here. Thank you for the tip jar stuff. And uh, thanks for telling your friends. And thanks to all the new people. And uh, I always like to play this in tune. This is called Mr. Schwinn. Mr. Schwinn was as thin as a pelican's grin And I took him my bike when the wheel wouldn't spin When the wheel wouldn't spin or the gear wouldn't shift For fixing a bike, the man had a gift They were stashed in the back of his waterfront shack his and her bikes perfectly matched perfectly matched like a groom and a bride waiting to take their honeymoon ride he'd say one of these bikes is more than a twin as he pumped up the tires polished the Yes, the wires and the tires filled me with desire And the sprockets and streamers were truly admired Were truly admired by all kinds of folks Who watched as he carefully tightened the spokes Yes, the chrome really shone, but if truth be known at the end of the day, he went home alone. Yes, he went home alone by way of the pier. And he watched the tide turn and the sun disappear. He'd say, one of these bikes is more than a twin. As he oiled the chain, polished the I'm saving it for my missus Schwinn He'd say, one of these bikes is more than a twin As he tested the brakes, polished the rim I'm saving it for my missus Schwinn Yesterday was the day that I heard someone say the old man at the bicycle shop passed away Mr. Schwinn passed away And my wife and I cried Cause he never did take that honeymoon ride T'was with grim discipline that the town buried him And the gravestone revealed that his name 
know his name wasn't Schwinn, but I'll tell you with pride, he gave me the groom and my wife the bride. Mr. Schwinn was as thin as a pelican's grin. And I took him my bike when the wheel wouldn't spin, when the wheel wouldn't spin or the gear wouldn't shift. For fixing a bike, the man had a gift. Hey, we'll see you next week. Three Song Thursday, number 20, 5 p.m. See you there. Thank you, guys. Love you.